Welcome to Reading Practice. Make appointments. How do you usually make appointments? I usually call the office or sometimes I book online. That's convenient. Do you prefer calling or booking online? It depends. If I am in a hurry, I'll call, but if I have time, I'll book online. Makes sense. When do you usually schedule appointments? Usually during weekends, after work hours. Do you ever have trouble getting an appointment? Sometimes, especially if it's with a popular doctor or during peak times. Have you ever had to reschedule an appointment? Yes, a few times due to unexpected events or conflicts. How far in advance do you usually schedule appointments? It varies, but usually a week or two ahead, especially for routine checkups. That's smart. Thanks for sharing your appointment-making process. No problem. If you ever need help scheduling an appointment, let me know. Lunch order. What are you thinking of ordering for lunch today? I'm not sure yet. What are the options? Well, there's a sandwich shop nearby, or we could order pizza. Pizza sounds good. What toppings do you like? I'm a fan of pepperoni and mushrooms. How about you? I like chicken and veggies on mine. Should we order a large? Yeah, that sounds good. Do you want any sides with it? Maybe some garlic bread or a salad. Let's go for garlic bread. Do you want anything to drink? Just water for me. Thanks. How about you? I'll have a soda. All right, I'll place the order now. Thanks. I'm looking forward to lunch. Health and fitness. Hey, have you been exercising lately? Yeah, I've been trying to go for a run a few times a week. What about you? I've been doing some yoga at home. It helps me relax. Do you do any other workouts? Sometimes I do some body weight exercises. They're easy to do at home. That's a good idea. Do you watch what you eat too? Yeah, I try to eat lots of fruits and vegetables and limit sweets and junk food. What about you? I'm trying to cut back on sugary drinks and snacks, drinking more water instead. That's a good plan. How about getting enough sleep? Do you manage that? Not always, but I'm trying to get at least seven hours a night. It helps me feel more energetic during the day. That's important. I find that when I sleep well, I have more motivation to exercise too. Yeah, it's all connected. Taking care of our health is so important. Definitely, we have to make sure we are taking care of ourselves so we can feel our best. Meeting a new neighbor. Hi, Sarah. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Where did you move from? I just moved here from Chicago. What about you? I've been living here for a few years now. It's a great neighborhood. Have you had a chance to explore yet? Not really. I've been so busy unpacking. Do you have any recommendations for places to eat around here? Sure. There's a really good Italian restaurant just down the street, and there's a nice cafe a couple of blocks away. That sounds great. I'll have to check them out. Are there any parks nearby? Yeah, there's a park just a few blocks from here. It's got some nice walking trails and a playground if you have kids. That sounds perfect. I'll have to take my dog for a walk there sometime. Thanks for the tips, Alex. No problem, Sarah. Let me know if you need anything else or if you want someone to show you around the neighborhood. Thanks. 
I appreciate it. It's nice to have friendly neighbors like you. Popular person. Hey, have you heard about the new guys in our class? He seems to know everyone. Yeah, I think his name is Mike. He's always surrounded by people during breaks. I wonder what makes him so popular. Maybe he's really funny or good at sports. I heard he's been here for a while and knows a lot of people from other classes too. That makes sense. It's nice to have someone like that around. It makes the class more fun. Definitely. Maybe we should try talking to him and see if we can make some new friends too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go say hi during the next break. Sounds like a plan. Films. Hey, have you watched any good movies lately? Yeah, I saw a really interesting film last weekend. It was about a detective solving a mystery. Oh, that sounds exciting. What was it called? It was called The Mystery of the Missing Diamond. It had a lot of suspense and unexpected twists. Wow, I love movies like that. Where did you watch it? I watched it on a streaming platform. They have a lot of great movies available to watch anytime. That's convenient. I should check it out sometime. Do you have any other movie recommendations? Well, I also watched a comedy last week called The Funny Family. It was hilarious. I could use a good laugh. I'll add it to my watch list. Thanks for the recommendation. No problem. Let me know how you like it. Trip canceled. Hey, I heard you were planning a trip. What happened? Yeah, I was supposed to go on a road trip with some friends, but we had to cancel it. Oh no, what happened? Well, one of my friends got sick, so we decided it would be best to postpone the trip. That's too bad. Did you have everything planned out already? Yeah, we had booked the accommodation and planned the itinerary. It was disappointing to cancel at the last minute. I can imagine. Are you going to reschedule the trip? We're thinking about it. We'll have to see when everyone's available again. Well, I hope your friend feels better soon and you can all go on your trip. Thanks, me too. It would be great to finally go on that road trip together. Someone complaining. Hey, what's wrong? You look upset. Oh, I'm just frustrated because my computer keeps freezing. That sounds annoying. Have you tried restarting it? Yeah, I've tried that a few times, but it's still acting up. Maybe there's a problem with the software. Have you checked for updates? No, I haven't. I'll try that next. Hopefully that fixes the issue. Is there anything else I can help with? No, I think that's it for now. Thanks for listening. No problem. Let me know if you need any help troubleshooting. Will do. Thanks again. Ice cream. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I love chocolate chip cookie dough. What about you? I'm a fan of mint chocolate chip. Do you prefer cones or cups? I usually go for cones because they are more fun to eat. How about you? I like cups because they are less messy. Do you enjoy any toppings on your ice cream? Yeah. I usually add some sprinkles. What about you? I like caramel sauce and chopped nuts on mine. Do you eat ice cream often? Not too often, but I like to treat myself every once in a while. How about you? I usually have it as a special treat on weekends. Courier. What do you do for work? 
I'm a teacher at a local school. How about you? I work as a software developer at a tech company. What made you choose teaching? I've always loved working with kids and helping them learn new things. How about you? Why did you choose software development? I've always been interested in computers and coding, so it seemed like a natural fit for me. What's your favorite part about teaching? I love seeing the progress my students make and knowing that I've helped them learn something new. How about you? What do you enjoy most about your job? I enjoy solving problems and creating new software that can make people's lives easier. Do you have any advice for someone interested in becoming a teacher? I would say it's important to be patient and compassionate and to always be willing to learn and adapt. How about you? Any advice for aspiring software developers? I would say to practice coding regularly and never stop learning about new technologies. Hometown. I'm from a big city called New York. What's your hometown like? Greenfield is a quiet town with lots of green spaces and friendly people. How about New York? What's it like living there? New York is busy and bustling with people from all over the world. There's always something exciting happening. What do you miss most about your hometown? I miss the peacefulness and sense of community. How about you? What do you miss about New York when you are away? I miss the energy and diversity of the city. What's your favorite memory from growing up in Greenfield? My favorite memory is spending summers playing in the park with my friends. How about you? Any favorite childhood memories from New York? I loved exploring all the different neighborhoods and trying new foods. Do you ever go back to visit your hometown? Yes, I try to visit whenever I can to see my family and friends. How about you? Do you ever go back to New York to visit? Yes, I go back a few times a year to catch up with friends and enjoy the city life. Rain, did you bring an umbrella today? No, I didn't. Do you think it's going to rain? Yeah, I heard on the weather forecast that there might be showers later. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain too heavily. I have to walk home from work. Maybe you can borrow my umbrella if it starts raining. Have you ever been caught in a rainstorm before? Yes, once when I was walking home from school, I got completely soaked. That sounds like quite an adventure. I remember one time I was at a picnic and it started pouring rain out of nowhere. Oh, wow! What did you do? We all huddled under a big tree until the rain stopped. It was actually kind of fun. It's nice when you can find some joy even in the rain. Do you like rainy days? Sometimes. I enjoy staying indoors and cozying up with a good book or watching a movie. How about you? I like rainy days too, especially when I can stay inside and listen to the sound of the rain. 